Okay, so this video I'm going to show you how to use um, the MoleView software. So right here off of the Moodle page, just click the link. I already got it open. It'll take you to a window here. You can donate money to them if you want. So you start out, we've got 3D view on the right over here, and then we've got a line structure. Now the line structure doesn't have lone pairs on it. You can see like this oxygen should have two lone pairs, but it doesn't. So it's not going to help you out with Lewis structures. You're going to want to um, know those already, but basically you just put in the bonded structure. And we'll talk about, there's a name for that. We'll talk about it later. Um, but essentially you can rotate, you can zoom with your mouse wheel, and you can just kind of click and drag and spin every way you want to look at a molecule. And we can see what the shape looks like in 3D space. So working on the left here is where we actually draw it. And then we hit this 3D, 2D to 3D button right here and it'll, it'll make the molecule show up on the right hand side. So trash can, clear out what they have. They got this nice molecule to start you out. So, um, you know, maybe we'll start simple here. Uh, start with water. So you got an oxygen and then I just click and make an oxygen appear and then I click and drag to have a hydrogen. If I just click, a hydrogen shows up. There's no bond. I can add it later with a trick. But I find it's easier just to click and drag. So I'm going to undo that. Bring another hydrogen. Okay, so we got two H's and an O. That's H2O. It's single bonded to the oxygen, each of those hydrogens. And so once I have my structure the way I want it, and again, I can zoom or in or out however I want with the mouse wheel here. But once I have it the way I want it, 2D to 3D, and it's going to show up on the right-hand side. So this is a smaller molecule. So we're going to zoom in a bit. And so this is our nice little water here. You know, if we want to do something a little more complicated, uh, we can do that. Um, don't worry about the little warning at the bottom. So we're going to go, you know, maybe I got a carbon, 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 carbon. We'll do, what's five, six, we'll do seven. Yeah, good number, right? Now over here I can add um, double bonds wherever I like. If I so chose, I could also add a triple bond. See what that looks like. Actually, let's put it in the middle. That'll be fun. We'll put the triple bond in the middle. See what this molecule looks like. Now, each carbon needs to make four bonds to be complete. So I am going to add hydrogens as needed to make that occur. It doesn't really matter where I put them. And if I have something that looks really weird, I can actually hit this little broom button here, and it will clean it up. <laughs> Sometimes it cleans up nicely. Sometimes it looks... Oh, like hell, but whatever. All right, let's see what this looks like in 3D. Did we get a good representation here? Look at that. We got our molecule. Okay, so these are our carbons. We got a nice carbon chain here. We got hydrogens coming off of them. So we got a carbon with two hydrogens, carbon with two hydrogens, carbon with one hydrogen, double bond in between them, uh, so on and so forth. Now we can play with the view if you want. You can also change your layout. I like the 2D on the left, 3D on the right, standard one, but you can go all 3D, top, bottom, if you've got you know, a different type of situation. If you just want to look at the 2D, there we go. You can also activate touch screen if you want, or touch screen friendly format. I'm just on a regular laptop with a mouse, so that's no good to me. All right, um, what are we doing here? We can do some calculations. We're not going to do any of that in this class. That's all higher level stuff. Um, oh, here we go. So we can go stick representation, van der Waals sphere. So this is a little more what it looks like in 3D space, actually, like what the electron clouds would look like. Things start just looking more and more like caterpillars or whatever. Uh, no big deal. Uh, wireframe, if you know you don't like looking at all those details, you know, sometimes bigger molecules, that makes more sense. Uh, line, again, just another simpler representation. Honestly, the ball and stick one, I mean, this is most similar to if you're working with a model kit, what it would look like, so that's what it's based on. And, you know, it'll, it'll get the job done for, for stuff in class. And this will be what you're using for the modeling lab. And, um, you know, anytime you want to actually look at a 3D geometry and figure out what it is, we're going to talk about what these names are and, and all that good stuff in the next video. But this is kind of an introduction. Again, this is free software, web access. I also have, um, if, if you have unreliable internet access, I have a program called Avogadro that does all the same stuff. You just download it and it will be able to do the same thing. A little bit different interface. Um, so if you're working with that and you're having trouble, I won't make a video uh, unless there's a bunch of people using it or anyone that I know for sure. 
So just uh, contact me in the forums or send me an email, whatever, and uh, I'll make a video for that too. So this is just kind of the basics for using the software. The last thing I'll show is like, you know, if you've got a ring structure, they've got some here uh, right off the bat. And then the other thing is it'll auto fill in hydrogens on any carbons or whatever. Any, any missing bonds will just get a hydrogen. So I can just put the ring in or I can do this. I mean, this is the actual line drawing of the molecule right here. Clean it up, make it look nice and pretty. Look at that. But that's what it's showing over here. And so if I hit 2D or 3D again, let's get the exact same molecule back. So just a heads up on that. And so like, you know, they got different options here. You can do a three member ring, a four member ring, five, six, and then what is this, is that seven? Yeah, seven member ring. If it's eight, you gotta draw it by hand. If you go 2D or 3D, it will show all of them. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Now they're you know, organized. Uh, and if you, oh, if you hold down the middle mouse button, I forgot, you can actually pan around. So click and hold on the left mouse button, spins. This one gives you translational motion, zoom. And then you know, right click, just you know, you can save an image if you want, stuff like that. All right, so that's all the stuff to you know do with this. So generally, you're only gonna be building uh, one molecule, but I thought it'd be fun to check out a bunch, and then you can you can get real close to them. Oops, you zoom in, you know, rotate around. Whoa, get out of the way there, buddy. All right, so have fun with it, uh, and yeah, this would be what you're using instead of a model kit for the modeling lab again. So, and, and something that can just help you out when you're, you're working on homework or whatever. So I, I'd recommend being familiar with it. And if you do have questions, just let me know.